Well, the local tourism product collecting yet another major accolade under its belt. Lloyd Allen tells us how experts expect higher numbers in 2024, with Nassau Paradise Island leading the way. We know that this will be the catalyst for continued growth, for diversification for 2024. It's practically 2024, and already the Bahamas is poised to see one of its biggest growth years to date. Now, according to industry experts, this exponential growth is rooted in strategic marketing. With Nassau Paradise Island specifically being named as the Caribbean destination of the year for 2023. Totally unexpected, but absolutely marvelous, and everybody is beyond excited. The perfect stamp of approval for the Bahamas headed into 2024. CEO of the Nassau Paradise Island Promotion Board, Joy Gibraloo, adding that for travelers, that particular destination offers a number of essentials. Obviously the capital, so the center of commerce, the center of business, center of entertainment. We have our large resorts on Nassau and Paradise Island. The tourism expert says new developments are also introducing more opportunities for businesses of all sizes as well as guests. So I want to talk about the newly opened this year Goldwyn, just 80 rooms on the most beautiful stretch of beach in Cable Beach to the historic Grey Cliff that appeals to so many um, visitors to our destination. With air and sea arrivals surpassing 2022's banner year, Gibraltar notes that the next step is diversify marketing and travel options. We've got non-stop service from two major cities on the West Coast, Seattle and Los Angeles. That in and of itself is extraordinary. But what people don't realize is the connectivity with all of the Western seaboard of the United States of America and Canada. Vancouver, people who live in Vancouver, their demographics are just the perfect demographic of the visitor profile for the Bahamas. An important barometer on the Bahamas' expanding market preference has been monthly stats, which continue to show positive gains with Gibraltar predicting new highs come 2024. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen. Hi, my name is Amanda Ferguson with Figgity Candle Company. We sell candles, we sell bath bombs, and this is our 10th year in business. We're actually a sand dollar newbie. We signed up for sand dollar for the Jollification Festival. The experience has been seamless. Uh, at first, I mean, new stuff, right? We don't know what to expect. With sand dollar, we were very pleased to know that we were offered another way for customers to make payments that were digital. And this here is very important to us because we don't like handling cash, the physical cash anymore. It's safer that way to be able to just have that on a digital platform. At the end of the day, I have my totals. I know what I've made. I don't have to count the cash. I don't have to worry about the security of walking to my car with cash on me. I can tell you that, I mean, I won't go back to the old way for sure. I'd much rather the transactions being on my phone. It's simple. It's, it's instantaneous. And my customers have actually really loved it too. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.